Let's bring in Seth Kaplan. He is the managing partner of Airline Weekly. Seth, good to have you. So first, what's the answer to that question? I mean, you look at the numbers. Last year alone, 24 animals died while in care of a U.S. airline. 18 of them were with United. Yeah, they're clearly not doing a good job here. And, and uh, you know, to their credit, at least they've learned about coming out and apologizing right away. I mean, last year after the Dr. Dow mm -hmm. incident, they spent days trying to say it wasn't their fault. This time they've said it's their fault. They've said that they're going to fix it. But obviously, sure, that's good. Even better to not have these situations in, in the first place. Uh, you know, sometimes this comes in waves. There was a time several years ago when Delta uh, was the airline in the news for uh, seemingly repeatedly having these kinds of incidents. Uh, a dog escaped the JFK, was mm -hmm. never found again. Uh, and then they kind of got their hands around that. Now, United, clearly the airline that, uh, uh, that has to make some improvements. Well, and they are willing to fly more pets, so when you're looking at the numbers, that might be a reason that they're a little bit higher. But sure. what about for the everyday person? I mean, how do you make sure that you're not going to be forced to put your pet in the overhead compartment? Because that's what the passenger said she was forced to do. Yeah, and and, uh, and United has said that the, the flight attendant misunderstood, didn't really understand that there was a, uh, a dog in there. But obviously the lesson here is speak up because if that's in fact what happened and i can understand you know i mean hey you know you sit through the safety briefing where they tell us to listen to crew member instructions and here's somebody telling you to do something and you know you don't want to interfere but in this case uh she probably could have spoken up i mean i look this story nauseates me mm -hmm. i you know i am I'm, I'm the 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 adoptive father of of three cats right and and uh uh, we flew, and to answer your question, you know, uh, when we moved to Washington, D.C., we actually flew JetBlue, an airline that uh, has sort of made a part of its brand, the way it, it takes care of animals, not to say that things can't go wrong there either. And, uh, yeah, three cats uh, in the cabin with us and, and just, you know, made sure to yeah, get them firmly under the seats, out of the aisle, all the rest of it. Uh, but if something doesn't seem right, uh, that's really the lesson here. Speak up uh, because... Yeah. Uh, no matter what you do, yeah, uh, it, it's still, this is a stressful environment to begin with, air travel, and then when you have pets with you, kind of elevates uh, the, mm -hmm. the, the chances that something can go wrong. Well, and as you know, I mean, for many people, their pets are like a family member, so to lose one in this way, it's just so tragic. Seth Kaplan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for being with me. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, Lynn.